Hey, welcome back. This is Clay Golem. This is our Foundry VTT series where we're looking at Storm Rock Isle. Storm Rock? Storm Wreck Isle. Blimey, I have such problems with that name. Ridiculous. Um, so I want to finish um, kind of working out some of the details for Storm Wreck Isle and get it into a position where it's uh, I'm happy to potentially deliver this for my players. Uh, is it good to go? Yeah, it is good to go. But I want to make some changes, add some details and things in line with some of the 3.0 changes to the game engine and just make sure everything's going to run smoothly. Um, so this video might not have much in it that's new or of particular interest to you, but I'm going to put it here anyway. Just as you can see my process and what I'm doing, I'm going to do it. So I might as well um, stick it on, uh, stick it up for you guys to watch as well if you want to. There might be parts where it gets really repetitive. Um, I might fast forward those. And there might be bits where I actually shut my face for once and uh, I'll play a bit of music in the background instead. We shall see. So starting off, Stormwreck Isle. Uh, we start with this opening scene. This is our first one. Um, and I've just checked to make sure all of these are hidden. We've got our bit of rain on, etc. We're happy with that. And I've got my main... Uh, whew, I didn't want to put sound on there, did I? Didn't want to do that. <laughs> Brilliant start. Okay, let's make sure I didn't just add... No, I didn't. Good. Um, so we've got our initial uh, introduction thing here that I've just slapped on the map. Just going to double right click and make sure it's not globally visible. Don't want our players seeing that when they look at this map. But if I open it... Um, this is our journal entry. Uh, I've decided I'm going to go put these lines in and go with bold for stuff I'm going to read. Journey was uneventful, but the island is now visible off the bow. Uh, promises rare wonders, seaweed, uh, shimmers in countless brilliant colours, blah, 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 blah. An open air temple comes into view, perched on the cliff above you. Uh, oh, and the ship drew. What's happened there? We missed a letter. Okay, it's, um, yeah. It hasn't auto-wrapped that very well, has it? Well, that's one thing I want to check. <laughs> Good start. We're doing brilliantly already. Okay. Why did that not want to uh, auto-wrap? Um, edit it. Doesn't like... Doesn't like the auto-wrapping for some reason. I don't think there's any of these are... Uh, I don't want to link. I can clear clear formatting off of this. Uh, obviously, this has got the American spelling. My computer set up as the British spelling, which is why I'm getting harbour and colours with all the U's missing. Um, in case you're going, oh, your spelling's all wrong. <laughs> We're not going to argue over who's right. Uh, this is really annoying, the fact that this is not wanting to wrap properly. Is it because of the old, I copied and pasted it from the module and it seems to have a little bit of an issue with copy and paste? Yeah, I think that might be it. So let's just copy and paste that one back in. So this is what I mean, this is just silly little de... No, they're not silly, they're quite important, but they are just details, probably not very interesting for you to watch. There we go, that's all doing better. So close that, close that, try that again. Uh, are we getting, yeah, there we go. All right, that's what I want. So however, whatever size I've got it, whatever screen I use it on, that's gonna scroll properly. Okay, good. Right, now the bit of bottom here says about the sailors set you ashore on a rickety dock uh, where a large rowboat is neatly tied. So I'm gonna change that because that's not what I've got set up for mine. On, uh, on an, on a beach, directly onto a beach. Where a uh, destroyed, where a destroyed rowboat um, lays washed upon the shore. Uh, Uh, they point to the base of the path and wish you good luck before they row back the ship. Your visit to Dragon's Rest begins. Okay, right, so that's all I'm doing for here. Little little change there. Because my next thing I want is, da -da, is this one. That's why I wanted to change that description. 
I wanted to get rid of the fact that um, it says about the rickety dock and I wanted to have this this map as my encounter now according to the adventure it's kind of as you start heading up the path of dragon's rest if we look at that it's like <laughs> where am I going to squeeze that in there um, so rather than just doing that by theater of the mind I decided that I was going to do it over here especially as it does include a bit of a combat so it's a very small combat it's a nice way of introducing the players uh, to a bit of combat okay and I want these zombies coming out of these tents um, so I'm going to describe to them that there's abandoned camp here um, it's all rickety etc etc uh, so let's go back to um, our introduction and edit this end bit then Uh, uh, da, da, da. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just quickly reading it. See what I mean? Not necessarily exciting at all. Uh, da, 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 da. What's wrong with me? Wrong sure. Um, And around the remains of a campfire. Someone clearly tried to camp on this exposed beach. The sailors point to the base of a path and wish you good luck before they row back to the ship. Yeah, right. Okay, going with that. Good, excellent. Happy with that now. Um, that one, as far as I'm concerned, that one's done. Let's go back here. All right, so we've got our zombies. They're going to be invisible. I've got my description over here. Uh, this is not using the map pins um, because we didn't have the map pins when I did this. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go to our journals. Uh, I've got some of them in here. Um, so I've got journal for, yeah, I haven't got one for the for the beach here, but that's okay. I'm going to create a journal entry. Uh, I'm going to call this um, Arrival Beach. Uh, I'm going to put this in, I'm going to put this in introduction because that's basically where it kind of is, sort of, uh, or whatever. Doesn't matter. Who cares? not that important uh, right map location I'm gonna put that in because we can do this new page um, and this is the what did I call this I called it the beach didn't I um, let's call it beach landing um, B1 doesn't really matter okay so I'm going to copy and paste so I've got the module open in the other window as per usual and I'm just kind of copying and pasting that stuff there. Now, as we just saw with the journal, we need to be a little bit careful that uh, it, bit, 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 it's actually going to, yeah, it's going to wrap properly. Okay, so as you're about to leave the beach, start your climb. You hear, uh, you hear a ruckus of splashing and wet and gurgling moan from the um, damaged tents. Three figures shamble from the torn remains from the torn remains. Yep, don't need that. Don't need to describe distance because I'm going to have it on the map. Uh, they are dressed as sailors, but their skin is grey and they look and they look as if uh, they drowned some time ago. Uh, their bodies are twisted and broken as if they have been dashed upon the rocks. 
Uh, sea water droves from their slack mouths as they lurch towards you. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with the description bit. Um, as they lurch towards you. As they approach. Yeah, this is where it's basically going to be a whole video of you laughing at my spelling. Uh, as they approach, you note the stench of decay mingling with the salty air. So it's one of the things that I need to get better at is remembering to describe smells, not just sound and sight. So I want to start doing that and getting a bit better with it. All right, now because I want this to be read out, I'm going to make that bold. Um, I'm then going to put a line under it so that I know that that's the end of that. So these are three zombies um, use initiative rules uh, on the zombies initiative. Da, 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 da. Uh, weirdly enough, the zombies use dash. Okay, so it's talking about the because this game, this module is designed for brand new DMs, brand new players. Um, one, both of. Uh, so it's giving some really basic stuff here about that undead fortitude, um, the fact that Ranara may come to help them. I say stuff that if my players can't survive three zombies on the beach, um, they shouldn't be rescued by a dragon. <laughs> they need to start again with new characters and hope for the best. Uh, and it says about they can avoid the zombies. Okay, so that's all I need in here. I don't need to put anything else in. This is going to be a really straightforward encounter. Uh, what I do want to do is copy this, just drag this on here, B1. But there it is. I love it. I love it. I do want to make that much bigger on here though because of uh, -da. Made that much bigger and I'm just going to drag it out to the water where I'm unlikely to uh, in fact I'll put it over there where I'm unlikely to, to need to um, move it later on. All right, now I did also put some C sounds on here as well. Um, I can't hear them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're on there. Maybe, do I need to? I haven't got any actors on here. Let's, um, <laughs> still all wounded from last time. Uh, let's just stick Haley out here. There we go, right, first test. <laughs> I can hear the noises, but Haley can't see anything. Uh, so obviously I need to make an adjustment to the beach encounter, configure this. I want for this, I want this to be uh, a global illumination. I'm not worried about that. There we go. Haley can now see it and hear it. I hope that's not too loud over my voice. I'm going to turn that off. There we go. Okay. So that's going to work. We're going to once we know exactly who our players are, we've imported them from beyond D&D, &D, yeah, D &D beyond me and my names, eh? Um, then I'll, I'll, all, I'll plop them all in um, and they can go from there. Okay, and we'll, uh, we'll pretend this is the path uh, down at the bottom here for them. Okay, so that's all good to go. Really, really easy. I'm going to keep those zombies. Uh, I'm going to give them a chance to land on the beach. They might do a little bit of RP or something before they do anything else. And then I'll launch into the zombie attack. Uh, next thing, right. Dragon's Rest. Now, this is pretty much, we pretty much did everything here, didn't we? Um, although, I have got these old, um, yeah, I've got the old things here. Okay, so Dragon's Rest. Meeting the inhabitants. Um, so this is the description one. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, nobody pretended I was a professional. Nobody ever made that mistake. Okay, so in introduction, I've got the Dragon's Rest. I've got the Rival Beach uh, Dragon's Rest. So what did I put? What is here? This is the start of town with the map. I'm going to get rid of that because I've got a few of these things that I kind of played with originally. Um, and I've left them in here. So that's the introduction from the first page, keeping that. Arrival Beach. I'm going to keep that in there as well. Happy with that. So that's in the introduction. Um, what's this? You're about to leave the beach, start your climb. Get rid of that. Description, your arrival quickly draws the attention. Get rid of that. Uh, quests. Do, do, do. 
I'm going to get rid of, going to get rid of that. Just having a bit of a tidy up. Seagrow Cave, Entrance Tunnel, Fungus Farm. Uh, they should all be in there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, ability Reference. Oh yeah, this is when we were looking at the, the DM stuff. Yep, so I'm going to get rid of that for the moment. Don't want that. I can bring that back in later. <coughs> okay, so in Dragon's Rest itself, I've got all these journal entries, but we know what we're going to do here, don't we? We're going to create new ones um, because this is the old journal way of doing it. And while that was great, I don't have a problem with it. That's not the way I want to do it anymore. So I'm just going to delete all of these. Do, 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 do. do you know what? It didn't even occur to me I might be able to mass delete those. Okay, so we're going to create new journal entry in here. New journal entry. Uh, we're going to call this meeting, whoop, meeting the inhabitants. This is going into Dragon's Rest, correct, create that new journal. Um, I'm a Muppet, aren't I? That's not what we want to do. What we want to call this is, this is going to be one journal for the whole of Dragon's Rest. That's what we're doing. Right, new page that I want to have as a map location. We're going to call this Meeting the Inhabitants new page good right now da, 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 da. copy and paste from the module potentially making some updates but let's just get in this stuff straight away okay your arrival quickly draws the attention of the entire population of the place which consists mostly of kobolds these small reptilian folk i i you um, curiously while a couple of humans watch from a distance all of the cloister's residents are dressed in simple clothes and no one carries a visible weapon. One of the kobolds pipes up, what's your name? Um, so first of all, I'm going to um, do, 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 bold that. <coughs> um, yep, at that, all of the kobolds start, uh, begin bar barraging you with questions. Just make sure. Yep. So we're going to bold that. Where are you from? What is that? Why are you here? More that's less than lost in the din. Okay, so uh, visitors are rare. So let's put in our line. We're going to read that top bit. Um, okay, so it says visitors to the cloister are rare and the kobold's curiosity is insatiable. They keep asking questions until the characters insist that they stop. <laughs> when the characters quiet uh, the kobolds or if the players start showing signs of exasperation the leader of the cloister approaches and welcomes them so we are going to have uh, we're going to put this in as whoops it's just as writing for the DM we're going to put another line in then I'm going to copy and paste the, do you want to do that? Below the line, thank you. Below the line. That's it. So the chapter in go, um, full silent. As a new figure comes into view, descending gracefully from the upper part of the cloister. She's an elderly human woman with weathered brown skin, white hair in tight braids. I don't think our, our one's got tight braids, has she? Um, White hair in tight braids, hazel eyes, dressed in a simple white robe. She smiles as she draws near and extends her arms in greeting. And what she is going to say, apparently, again, just copy and paste from the module. It's a free module. I'm not plagiarizing anything. Um, Welcome to Dragon's Rest, she says. May Bahamut's, Bahamut's, depending how you want to say it, guidance uh, lead you to whatever you seek. We're going to make that bold because that's somebody speaking. Okay, and then we're going to put a line that. Now, my problem is, is this description might not be right. So when we... <laughs> no, let's look at... Whoop, not monsters. Let's look at our NPCs. Um, and we used... Uh, where is she? Oh, it's because I've got it down here. Um, what did I do with... Because she is this. Uh, right. Okay. That's why. 
yeah yeah because the the image is that okay so i want to make sure my description kind of least resembles what she looks like um descending gracefully um from the upper part of the cloister she's an elderly human with a woman with weathered brown skin uh white hair protruding from under her cowl blimey uh yep from protruding from under her cowl and kindly hazel eyes that will do very nicely uh dressed in a simple not white i don't want to make i don't want it to be white uh a simp a simple blue robe uh, she smiles as she draws near and extends her arms in greetings welcome to dragon's rest she says um okay good so we could then put in the rest of the module stuff under here but i'm only going to put in what's actually useful uh duh, 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 duh. that might all be useful that nab it come on under the line thank you Right, so this automatically, when you copy and paste in where it's got links, it puts links in. I don't want those links, so I'm just going to go back to clear formatting. There we go. Uh, the leader of Dragon's Rest. Now, good question. Can I copy NPCs into here? Oh, what did that do? <laughs> I don't know what that did. Oh, I put another line under there, but... Oh, ah, 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 ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. Yeah. So can I take that and drop that in there? So this is doo -doo 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 -doo, the leader of Dragon's Rest. Okay, let's close and see what that adult bronze dragon, Rana. Okay, so we can just link straight to it if we want to. So that's one of obviously one of the new functions. Do I want that? I don't think I want that for this. I'm going to take that out. Let's just leave it as Renara. Uh, the leader of Dragon's Rest. If the characters defeated the zombies at the beach, she thanks them for their service to the cloister. Even if they do not fight the zombies, she tells them they're welcome to stay at Dragon's Rest as long as they wish, sleeping either one of the monastic cells. Okay, so again, I want to get rid of the... Uh oh, blimey. Just get, just get rid of all the formatting. Thank you. So what is this? Oh, this is going to change font and everything. Never mind. Um... Even after the font, they're welcome to stay as long as they want. And the monastic cells. So this is, what is this going to be? This is going to be, in the module, I want to try and get it roughly to line up. They're using A's here. So I'm going to call this A0. So this is going to be area A1 or the temple A5. Uh, and eating with the rest of the community in A3. And it says nothing about payment of any kind. Bloody right. If the characters offer to give money or perform services around the cloister for exchange, she accepts these gifts, which is very nice, isn't it? Um, da, 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 da. So what do we need to do here throughout the adventure? Dragon's Rest serves as a home base. Uh, during their time, they can interact with all of the residents. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, so we've got our AO meeting. I'm going to drag that, stick that down here because I want that to be one of the first things that we uh, we look at when they come in to here. Okay. Sorry, dear, you're too big. Go away. <laughs> we had that up here, didn't we, when we dragged her on and uh, yeah, it brought her in as a massive token because it's a massive character uh this is our test person i'm going to get rid of that it's going to confuse me we'll just leave good old randall on the map for the moment okay randall it's not been a pain all right so what we could do if i go back to my uh, my journals um and i've got my dragon's rest journal i can add a page hmm wonder if i so that's going to just be image class summary let's just add a text page for the moment and we call this 
Uh, okay, going to stick that in. Any old junk in there for the moment. Okay, uh, now I want to add a page which is going to be for the next actual location here, which is A1. So we want a map location, and this is path and mon monastic cells. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Copy, copy, copy. Copy, copy, copy. Uh, make sure that's going to, yep. <laughs> Just make sure it's going to do the thing. Good. We're going to read that bit out. That's why I put it in bold. And then it's going to talk about a couple of the things here. Um, so the statue. Again, I want to get rid. I don't want all the hyperlinks in there. So what we can do is statue, bold and underline. So to do the bold and underline, it's the same as with anything like Word, Excel and anything like that. It's just uh, control B for bold, control U for underline and do it again if you want to get rid of it. Nice and easy shortcuts. You can obviously also do it under this inline. Who can be bothered? Just too many clicks. Do it the easy way. Okay, it's so a statue. We've got a bit of information about the cells. So we'll stick that in here. Again, I want to get rid of the existing formatting. So I'm just going to this T with a line through it to get rid of existing formatting. Again, I'm just going to do Control-B, Control-U. Put a space under those just to separate them out. Make sure they are going to wrap. Yes, they do. Good. Um, and then it talks about the westernmost cell. And again, get rid of that just because I don't want those links and stuff in there. The westernmost cell is vacant. So, right, so we're happy to leave that. Right, so the reason why I did that, this is A1, isn't it? Put, pop that in. Pop. Right, now we've got A1. I'm going to pop this over here. This is un unknown. Save that. What's this unknown? Unknown. Well, get rid of it then. <laughs> All right, so the reason why I, I just chuck this and can I? Yeah, look, oh, brilliant, that's useful. So you can actually drag these to reorder them. That's what I wanted to check. I wasn't too sure um, because I'm going to have this one journal for the whole of this encounter area for Dragon's Rest, and I can keep everything in here together, which is nice. So key characters that I want to know about here. Um, I'm going to open this up again. Edit, thank you. Um, and this is where I want to copy all of the information, just so I've got it really handy. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. Everything I need to know about this individual. And again, I'm just being lazy because I'm just doing the copy and paste. But I think if I copy and paste one paragraph at a time, it doesn't give us the issue with the wrapping that was driving me slightly nuts. Uh, do, 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 do. Now again, I might go through and edit some of these and change a few of the individual bits. But before we do that, I'm going to select everything, remove the stuff, just make sure, yep, that's all wrapping properly, which is good. Oh, right. So she's the leader of Dragon's Rest, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's not talking about any particular roles or dice rolls I need to make. This is purely, um, oh, I have a question. Can you? Didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, nice to know though, that actually what you can do is you can drag any of these details directly into um, another journal if you want to. I mean, you know, you end up with lots of repetition, but you could if you needed to. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. I don't think there's anything I need to particularly highlight uh, as the DM. I need to know that before I do it. So I've got her in there. Uh, I'm going to create another text page. I'm going to call this Cobolds. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. 
I don't need to yeah I'm not going to check all of the words that they're using in here because that will get silly but I am going to just copy and paste there's quite a few kobolds in this town so I'm going to copy and paste them all into one journal entry so I can find them easily of who they are what they like what they don't um, they're fairly two-dimensional so I might need to um, you know just work out some individual things about them I might add a little bit on about their appearance or mannerisms and things just to try and distinguish them from each other oops I missed a line for mumpo sorry mumpo there we go um, there's a few here it's one of the only ones that's got a decent sort of uh, amount of description kind of important so I don't want to do a journal entry separate for all of these because there's a whole bunch of them um, and let's face it they're not particularly key to the adventure itself all right guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get rid of all the formatting great I'm gonna go through and I'm going to go bold underline under the names To make it slightly do you know what I'm not going to underline them That's, I'm going to ununderline them de underline them whatever mumpo Myla. okay all right so I've got those they're all in there nice and easy to reference cobolds lovely uh, I'm gonna need another one for Tarek again text I did warn you this wasn't gonna be the most exciting video this is just me doing my thing just prepping some of these details I don't think there's anything new you are learning here which is fine it's fine by me <laughs> you don't have to watch <laughs> uh, and if you're sensible you're probably not I don't have any problem if you want to skip this video whoops okay so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna remove all of that lovely uh, we can leave all that in there now uh, is there anything special in here so it's friend friendly towards visitors blah 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 a gold hangers noose is worked into the design. This writing's very small on here for you guys, I think. Uh, a character who studies the tattoos and succeeds on, ooh, look, succeeds on a DC intelligence history. Now, can you remember how we did this? We did da 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 skill, uh, ability equals intelligence. Skill equals history DC 15. Was that it? <laughs> I'll be well amazed if I got that right. Okay, let's uh, close and see what that looks like. <gasps> yeah, look. Bloody it was right, wasn't it? DC 15 intelligence history. So it seeds on a DC intelligence check. Recognize it. Oh, genius. I'm amazed I remember that. It's the first time I've used it apart from when we were demoing and having a little look at stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, recognises the markers associated with blah, 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 blah. Called it the Gilded Gallows. Okay, so the Gilded Gallows is obviously a group, a thieves' guild, as it says. Um, so, I'm going to put that in bold and italic. What is the chance is that one of the characters is going to go, hey, I recognize that, and it's going to be the rogue, and then they go, what do I know about? Or later on, I'm going to ha track down um, the Gilded Gallows or something. Uh, so it's useful for us to be able to do that, and of course that's a plot hook for another adventure, which is always useful to have. Uh, da, 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 da. A character with a criminal background automatically succeeds on this check. I say no. Um, 
I would say I would want to know where Gilded Gallows were based. Let's say they're based out of Neverwinter. In that case, my question would be, is the character from Neverwinter? If so, I'm going to give them an advantage on that check. If they're not, it's going to be a flat check. And I would say anybody who's had a very non-criminal background, I might even do that as a disadvantage check. Just depends. Uh, it depends what, what I want, whether I want them to kind of find that lead or not. Okay. Um, frequently visits the Sea Cave South um, to acquire heart cap mushrooms. All uh, right. Now, I created an item when I can find it uh, for heart cap mushrooms. So I'm going to stick it in there. Get rid of that H. So save this. Yeah, there we go. I've got a link to it. Do I need a link to it? No, but we're just, <laughs> why, why not? It looks good. Makes it look like I am doing know what I'm doing. I'm being professional. Um, he uses the mushrooms to make a potion of healing. So I haven't got that in my items, but we can go to, whoop, not that one. But da, 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 da. Let's go for healing, potion of healing. Um, I'm going to dump that in. Oh, maybe I need to dump it in my items first. Dump it in my items. Right, brilliant. Now I can pull it back and dump it in my journal. Dump it in my journal. Oh, stupid boy. Look, I don't. <laughs> that's not this is the one I'm editing. This is where I want to dump it. So can I do it straight from the SRD? Yes, of course I can. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. Uh, all right. So that's it for him, uh, which is nice. We've got a check in there. We've got this other reference that we could create. Um, we could create a journal on them uh, and then we could link it. We've got heart cap mushrooms talking about potion of healing. That helps those little things stand out. Okay, good. Right. Um, next. Text. This is Varnoth. Okay, so Varnoth. This is our human fighter that's just, you know, chilling out with kobolds as you do. I need to go back and check descriptions for uh, for these people as well. Make sure they match the token that we've chosen to use. Because who cares what they actually look like as long as there's some continuity. None of their appearances are critical to the story in this instance. So again, let's um, get rid of all of that. So Varnoth, muscular woman, black hair is cropped. Where did I put her? Oh, she stayed up there, didn't she? So this is our token for Varnoth. Um, muscular woman with black hair is cropped close to her scalp. Nope. His black hair flops to one side of her face. Her... I'm going to say her brown skin. It's not particularly light. It's not particularly dark. Her brown skin bears many scars, one of which runs across her left eye, which is milky and blind. An elegant prosthetic made from wood and metal replaces her right leg below the knee. Uh, Varnath was a feared general, had a mercenary group called the Azure Wolves. So that gain with potential for our players to want to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Contemplating at Dragon's Rest. Do, 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 do. Um, cloister quest, cloister quests. Character who learns Varnoth's name. Okay, so Varnoth is in different visitors, but a character can shift her attitude to friendly by gauging her in conversation. Um, favorite topics, history, ethics, uh, and the impact of individual actions on the world. Okay, interesting. Um, the character who learns Varnoth's name and succeeds in a intelligence history check. We can do this now, can't we? Skill. 
uh, ability equals intelligence skill equals history DC 15 Uh, recalls hearing of General Varnoth. That will look of Mr. G off of my bold. Um, and the Azure Wolves. Okay. Which uh, was a mighty force in the east in the east about a decade ago. So again, you know, if you're making this as a big campaign world, you might actually put a bit of history in about the Azu Wolves, or at least enough so that you can blag a conversation that's going to happen here but you could also use that as another hook it's like well hang on a minute what happened to them um you, you know what happened to the azure wolves why is she here how did it fall down maybe she's got a quest beyond the um storm wreck isle um that you know she talks about the fact that her company was destroyed by x y and z i don't know um who you knows you know, could be anything couldn't it could set them off on another adventure. Uh, could tie in with characters' background. All right, so let's close that. Uh, let's make sure on Varnoth we've got our check is in properly and everything. That's good. Lovely jubbly. All right, okay. So good. We've got our individuals there, which is going to give us some detail. Let's scroll on. We've got our monastic cells. We now need to do our next map location. We'll do, uh, we're going to finish this and then we'll... Uh, We'll bring this video to a close before I go on and do the next ones. Uh, or otherwise, this potentially we could be here for a very long time. All right. So small still. Can't even speak now. Freestanding wheelhouse. Make that bold. Put our line in. Um, whoop, our bit of description here. Below the line. Thank you very much. No roles or anything to be done here, which is great. We can get rid of that. I'm going to drag that up. <gasps> I like the fact we can do that. <laughs> really easily pleased by silly stuff. Okay, kitchen. Uh, map location. We've got to put these map locations actually on the map. I mustn't forget to do that. That'd be a bit of a wazzock. Okay, so make that bold. Put our line in. Whoop. Um, hey, you notice things like a doorway in the rock opens into a dining room with a long table, two benches run, a single chair at the head, a short hallway connects to a small tidy kitchen. Yeah, but what does that kitchen smell like? You know, what noises can be heard in here? They're very, very brief, and you get this with a lot of adventure modules, is they're very brief on some of the details. Um, and of course, if you can do that on the fly, yourself off the top of your head as a dm without having to just read text because you, you can hear me when i'm just reading the text from it it loses an awful lot you're much better to be able to improvise these things but even just a few bullet points to give you an idea of what you want to be saying makes hell of a difference library we want a map location thank you very much You know, so for this, you know, all, of all the doorways cut into the cliff face, only one uh, has an actual door. Uh, the entry to this door is made of sturdy oak and iron bands, and it swings open easily to reveal a spacious library. Bookshelves line every walls, and the three freestanding shelves in the west half of the room. In the east half is a table with two benches, writing implements, book stands, and glass shielded lamps. How dull is that? I mean, I wouldn't read it out like that as actually part of the adventure. It's it's too fast. That there's not atmosphere. There's not detail in there at all. Um, and adventures, pre-written adventures, do tend to encourage us to just yeah be lazy with our presentation, um, which leads to oh yeah look oh look oh yeah I can just boop okay um, <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's distracted by everything. So if I do that. Can I drag that into there? Oh, I can. Of course I can. Oops. Um, 
of the Tarak. Drag Tarak into there. Did that work? I was mid-flow, wasn't I? And I just stopped. Yeah, look, okay. So if we want a shortcut to them, we can. Lovely. Uh, camera noticing. <laughs> Easily distracted. Okay, so the game these are working okay. Um, focusing on theology and history. Renara. Let's put her in bold. Uh, spends nearly half her time studying and copying and annotating the library's collection. Da, 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 da. Many of the Cobbles visit as well, uh, but most frequently for the quiet, quiet only mailer. So let's again stick that out there. Okay, so that's our library. We didn't we didn't put our location on. That was A4 for the library. Great. Put that back in where it needs to be. Okay, last major location for this place, which is good to add. This is the Temple of Bahamut. Map location, create. We're getting bored of this yet. If you're still watching this video, I'm amazed. Oh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> didn't want to do that. Accidentally grabbed the entire graphic rather than that thank you very much again gonna make that bold yeah if you made it through this far through the video and you're actually watched the whole thing um thank you but also i'm quite amazed because this is not this is not exciting is it it's not exciting we've got some roles to add into this one that's exciting <laughs> is it exciting please tell me it's exciting it's not exciting i know it's not exciting it kind of feels exciting because it's new and we can do that now. Um, and a last bit in here to copy in. So yeah, I can't just do the whole lot in one go because uh, it stuffs up the um, the wrapping, but we can certainly do it like that. Right, let's move all to that. Okay, so the temple is very simple with a statue represented by a star in a circle at the center of the room. Yeah, yeah, it's only for furnishing. The statue depicts the Platinum Dragon. Let's uh, bold that because it's a name. Surrounded by seven canaries that represent gold dragons who accompany on the travels. Uh, a character who examines the statue succeeds on A. Skill. Ability. Equals. Whoop. <laughs> Intelligence. Skill. Equals. Religion. DC 10. Check recognizes Bahamut and the residents of Dragon's Rest identifies the god if asked. Yeah, make a roll or just ask somebody. Uh, depressions and statue pedestal. Da, 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 four cardinal directions. That's about half a time here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Oh, because we can. Come on then. I'll drag you in. And the Cobalt Ricks. So because we didn't create specific things for them, we can't drag in the Cobalt Ricks. Okay, feeling of serenity. Now, it talks about non-evil creatures who make a saving throw within the temple can roll a d4. And Okay, so that's basically a rule. If somebody needs to make a saving throw, they're going to get an added d4 what is the chances of them making a saving throw in this temple um but it's in there we've got that um how about a saving throw within the temple can roll a d4 and add that to the same i'm going to bold that and italicize it just so it stands out so i don't forget about it of course i missed the bloody s off the end does that annoy you too it really annoys me <laughs> Far more than it should. Um, okay. Does it only happen at Dragon's Rest who knows the lingering effect of the death of Dragon on this site? Her father. Astalagan. Astalagan? Yes, Astalagan. Okay, now this is just in case any of the players want to know about the god. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, no more rolls or anything there for that, which is good. All right, so we can leave that in there. Uh, let's just check that that has come through properly. Uh, yes, we've got our intelligence history check, etc. Good, lovely. All right. Um, I was on the wrong one. This is, <laughs> this is the one. Uh, so we've got intelligence for religion checks. We've got those. Varnoth is in there. That works quite well. Um, good, 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 good. Uh, but I didn't put in, surprise, I forgot again to put in that this was a five. All right. Um, let's now get rid of that. I need to, and I've closed the journal when I shouldn't have done, open Dragon's Rest again. Let's make that a little bit smaller so it's not taking up too much of our screen space. Uh, the winch house. Get rid of that. We want to chuck out the winch house up here. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Get rid of that. Uh, it says unknown because we deleted the stuff behind it. That's why. And I didn't delete the map pin. So it's a map pin that's not related to anything. Okay, good. We found out why that happened. Uh, yep, we can leave you there. Happy with that. This is the library. Um, boom. Stick that up there. Lovely jubbly. Um, unknown. That's where we got rid of our intro thing. Uh, and this, of course, was the temple. We'll stick that over there. How much nicer are these these map pins? They're so much nicer. It's quite obvious that that's a map pin and nothing extra. All right. Just rearrange this a little bit. Uh, what else do we need to do? Cloist blah, 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 blah. Cloister quests. So I'm going to add a page in here, um, which is going to be... It's going to just be text. So we're going to call this the Cloister Quests. Okay, now because all of the kobolds and things will move around, a lot of the time the actual quest givers won't necessarily be fixed to one location, which is good because it makes the town much more sort of dynamic and much more uh, feel like it's lived in. Um, but it does mean that it's slightly harder to just go, oh, I just put in the quest hook in a particular location. Uh, of course, you could decide to fix everybody where they are. You could do that. Of course you can. Uh, right. As the characters exploring, residents talk about their problems. Of da, 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 these conversations, um, opportunities. The adventure begins and flexible, uh, designed to be flexible. Uh, da, 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 Destiny of Oh, Ideally, the characters spend time at Dragon's Rest to explore the, both the Seagrove Caves. Da, 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 da. Um... That's then spark render. Each character sheet includes personal goal. Right, I'm going to get rid of all, nearly all of that because that's not helpful for me. What I want is um, I'm going to go uh, if the adventurers did not fight the zombies when they first arrived on the island, the zombies could cause trouble later. I'm going to skip that. I'm just not interested in having zombies attack the town. There's only three of them. Really, really can't be bothered. Um they're going to fight them on the beach. If they can't defeat them on the beach, um, then... Uh, ooh, what did you do that for? What have I done? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Whatever it is, I don't want it to do that. It's still going to do it. Okay, that's not really what we want. What is going on? Is it because... I think it's because it's a... Uh, yeah, it's... Okay. <laughs> in the module it's got a link to it so it's doing something slightly uh slightly odd for us which is fine that's i just don't want it go away okay so the sea caves uh we can copy and paste this in here slap that down again that will now expand which is good uh, we're going to have another one called the shipwreck can't imagine which locations these are can you okay stick that in there uh it's now got about the individual quests and things like that um but i'm uh and the lost wormling uh yeah i'm gonna put the lost wormling in but you you're not allowed to do anything with it to start with i don't think because you have to complete the other two first so when the characters have proven themselves yeah let's slap it in so we can know where to find it later. We can always duplicate where we find where where it is, of course, if uh, that's going to be more useful. So that's going to be a quote, as is that. Right. So let's um let's sort out all the paragraphs and everything in here. Okay. Get rid of that. 
let's uh, put a line in I put a line in this is the Seagrove caves link I don't want to do a journal link thank you very much it's very kind of you but no okay so let's put the space uh, so Tarak stick him in no didn't want to do that Tarak journal entry Da, 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 da. He's eager to re-establish contact with the Myconoids. He asked characters to visit a cave, etc, etc, etc. We can do all that. Uh, he finally gives them two potions of healing. So, where's that? <laughs> da, 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 da. Gives them two... Potions of healing. Now, a good thing is it says, oh, as described in, we don't need that because if I close this, actually go to the cloister quests, potions of healing. Yeah, it tells me what it does. I can hover over it and it tells you what it does. Don't need to go and look anything up. That's what's really, really useful. I'm giving you potions of healing. Oh, what do they do? Uh, there it is. And I think you can, oh, hang on. And I think you can drag it straight from there and chuck it in the chat. <laughs> Here you go. Everybody can see it. It's just so easy. All right. Um, Instructed again. All right. So that's good. What about the shipwreck? We're going to again make that bold. Uh, da, 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 da. Dragon's Rest sunk. No, no, both Varnoff. I'm dragging that, and I don't think I need to. And the Cobold Ricks. Make him bold. Uh, Witness the most recent wreck. Make you bold. The wreck of the compass rose. Oh, look. Oh, the scene. Now, I'm not sure of how useful that would be. <laughs> Here we go. Distracted again. Okay, so when, <laughs> when we're looking at this, uh, oh, it just says compass. But if we click on that, if we double click on that, if we right click on that, yeah, that's up absolutely no. <laughs> No use at all. Uh, the wreck of the compass rose. Yeah, sometimes it's lovely having those things. Other times it's not actually of value. Okay, so um, put another line in. Bit of spacing. Uh, the lost roaming. So again, just check with this. This is only when they've successfully done the other bit so when the characters have proved themselves uh renara uh decides da, 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 she summons them to temple area a5 read the following when they get there so we're going to make all of that bold because that's something she's reading all right then there's a nice huge great big paragraph that follows that Get rid of that. Um, so she outlines the back, the history of the summary in the adventure background section. Explains the sites. Blah 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 blah. Born the dragon. Okay. Yeah. See, it's really interesting, isn't it? Listening to me going. Duh, 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 duh. Presence when she gives them a moonstone key. See, I think we ought to, let's create an item. Let's create a, is it a tool? Loot. Let's just make it loot. Let's call it the Moonstone Key. Um, let's just say it's uncommon. Yep, it's identified. A uh, bit of a description. Now, what does it say about it? Uh, a moonstone key, three inches long, one inch wide, hexagonal prism made of moonstone with a dragon's head and gates on one end. Moonstone key, three inches long, one inch wide, hexagonal prism made of moonstone with a dragon's head engraved on one end. Stop. Okay, I don't have a key image, but I could get one. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know. It's just nice to be able to give things to the players, isn't it? Moonstone key. 
Da, 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 da. A moonstone key. No, I've done it again. I don't want to do that. Uh, just copy the item. Give them a moonstone key. Let's have another. Hello. <laughs> oh, that made me nervous. Okay. Oh, look, see, she gives them a moonstone key. Bam. I can hover over it if I need a description. Uh, and explains that they need it to access the observatory. Okay, so let's just make, because that's going to really take me. Lovely. All right. Um, that's it. That's it for this area. So we've got our characters in here. I might move the quests up, um, the cloister quests. We've got our PCs. So we've got one journal for the whole of this area that covers everything we need, including any of the set dice rolls, um, the characters, quests, descriptions, everything's here. Um, did that take a while? Yeah, God, how long have we been going? We've been going for about an hour. Um, yeah, that took a while um, to do, but it's done. I never have to look at anything else ever again. I can run everything from straight within Foundry um, if I want to. And again, I don't have to do it this way. I really, really don't. But I thought it'd be nice to kind of polish these off uh, and just kind of package these things quite nicely. Uh, if you've made it this far video, I very much appreciate your patience um, and, uh, and, and for sticking with it. Wasn't I'm not expecting anybody to watch all these all the way through. Um, I don't know. And maybe you're getting some ASMR out of it. Uh, we need to do Compass Rose uh, and we need to do the Clifftop Observatory. So we're going to do those in a different video. Maybe after I've had a cup of tea, I'll do them next. Cheers, guys. Take care.